With the increase in social isolation measures, we're all feeling a range of emotions and one that I'm hearing about a lot is that feeling of disappointment. My name is Fiona Spence and I am talking to you from a playground because I'm going to use this as an example for how you can reframe disappointment. So here we go. Can you imagine if a mum or a dad took their toddler to the playground and when they were asked, why can't I play at the playground anymore? Why is it shut? They said, oh, because if you play in the playground, you're going to get sick. You're going to be very sick. It's very, very dangerous. Wow, that poor kid, they're going to be scarred for life, yeah? Can you imagine they're going to feel fearful, fight, flight, freeze, it's going to kick in. This is not a feeling you want to get. And this is what happens when you start to blame the coronavirus for not being able to do things in your life. So instead, what about this scenario? Rather than telling them all the bad things, you simply say, to give us something to look forward to, of course. That is a reframe and it leads to great conversations. What are you looking forward to going on first? Is it going to be the slippery dip? Is it going to be a climbing frame? Perhaps it's the swings or the strange green creature. Good Lord, what is that thing? And from there you can have great discussions and use your imagination. So try and do this with your own things. Now that you can't go the places you love to go, see the people you adore seeing or do the hobbies that get you feeling revved up and excited in life. Just tell yourself, not that it's about the pandemic, just say it's to give me something to look forward to. And then take it one step further. Start to write yourself a list, a list of everything you're gonna do when this is over, all the people you're gonna see, the places you'll go to, the things that you're going to do. And then start to really imagine them in detail. Paint a picture in your mind. You know, once you start to do that, you'll find that you release these incredible chemicals in your brain, those feel-good chemicals, and you will start to feel better. And that disappointment can start to shift. It's a horrible emotion to live with. So please look at ways of letting it go and try this one and see if it works for you. Now, if you'd like to know more about maximizing your motivation, I have made an audio. It's a whole hour long, but I'm happy to send you a link to it for free if you contact me, Fiona, at thesmartestpath.com.au. And in there, we go into all sorts of things like dumb goal setting and visualizing your future and why it helps you to feel so positive about life. Alrighty, that's enough from me for the moment. Please do like this video and share it and I'll be back on soon. Stay safe.